Welcome to Mount Calvary's online daily devotion. This week's devotional theme, as we enter into the season of Advent, focuses on that word, Advent. And Advent comes from a Latin word, which means coming. And this week, we are focusing on how Christ comes to us, on how God comes to us. And yesterday, we talked about how God initially came to us when he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, in the form of a baby. God is meant to be feared, but God came in the form of a baby. God came to be embraced, embraced by each and every one of us. Today, I want to talk to each and every one of you about how God comes to us in, with, and through his word. And as the Holy Spirit is blowing the pages, give me a moment as I find the page that I need to read to all of you. Here's a reading from John chapter 21. Now there are also many other things that Jesus did. Were every one of them to be written, I suppose that the world itself would not contain the books that will be written. We have four Gospels, four Gospels that talk about the miracles, the life, the lessons of Jesus, the crucifixion of Jesus, the resurrection of Jesus. We have four Gospels, and none of these four contain all the things that Jesus did. And it just makes me wonder, what else did he do while he was on this earth? Are the things that are recorded, the climax of those, those things, are there more, there's better? It makes me wonder, it makes me ponder of the life of Jesus, the ministry of Jesus. But we have our four Gospels, and those Gospels have evolved the church throughout time. And God comes to each and every one of us through his word. I mean that when I say that. There's times when we just open up our Bible and God speaks to us. God speaks to us on what he would have us hear. There was a time when I was going through a dark time as I've probably shared with all of you in earlier devotions and I just turned my Bible to Matthew 6 26 look at the birds in the air they neither sow nor reap but yet your heavenly father provides for them no matter what you are going through this word God comes to you through his word if, if you are feeling lonely in life you know, God comes to you in Genesis 2.18. If you are looking for the perfect spouse, God comes to you in Proverbs 31. If you are feeling anxious about anything, read Matthew 6. If you, if you need to hear how God is your rock and your refuge and your strength, read Psalm 31. God comes to each and every one of us in his word. And through his word, he leaves us inspired. This book is old. The stories, this book right here is a collection of books, and those books span through thousands of years. But these words never expire. These words inspire. And God comes to each and every one of us through his word. The Holy Spirit works through this book in our hearts to give us faith, more faith. God comes to each and every one of us through his word. So I encourage each and every one of you. Whenever you are feeling down, no matter what you are feeling, even when you are feeling happy, open this good book. Open this word. Because through this word, God comes to each and every one of us. Will you say a word of prayer with me? Gracious God, Heavenly Father, we give you praise, O oh Lord, for your good and gracious word. How your word comes to us, edifies us, strengthens us in our faith. We give you thanks, O oh Lord, for the writers that you have used to inspire this word. We give you thanks for your Holy Spirit, O oh God, who, who inspire these writers to write this word. And we give you praise and thanks, O oh God, for this nation where we can come and study your word with liberty and freedom without any worry of persecution, O oh Father. And we lift all these things up to you and all these things we pray in your name and all of God's people say, Amen. Thank you for joining me for... Mount Calvary's online daily devotion. I look forward to continue this week's theme of Advent and God's coming to us. Tomorrow we'll be talking about how God comes to us in his sacraments. Have a blessed day.